No, they, they sure do. I, I want to see what that Primal Beast cosmetic set is, though. We were talking about the Snapfire one yesterday. This guy looks like a Yeti or an Owlbear. Look, look at him. Look at that monster. The little cute alligator in the front. Yeah, hello. I'm Mortimer. And then... Oh, oh, oh. Hey. oh the blood grenade. He's on the tower. Regen kicking in. Tango. Malady. It's fine until he gets to the hit. <laughs> Collapse is like, sure, this is fine. We could trade up in that top lane. It looks like Zayat's still trying to block up this small camp. Miposhka has already sentried it. But the body block's there from the lion to make sure there are no pulls. Taking a lot of damage. Oh, is he, is he dead here? That wave of terror minus armor. Not gonna help no, it's not. <laughs> Drain my banner? I think not. My wave of terror just cannot be underestimated here. They're diving with tier one and going for it. Yatro just needs a couple more hits, but he's stunned at the tower now. Trample, uh -oh. Nefrit, trying to kill off the Sven. He's pretty speedy, gets up towards Zayat, but the salve healed him enough. Yatro dives a step too far. Get the hell away from our wisdom rune, says Team Spirit. Maldi's come over here trying to snipe it. Taking a fair bit of damage though. Yeah, with both the, the offlane heroes here. Tries to get into the ancient camp, but won't succeed. Echo straight on the Kunkka. X Mark's gonna pull him back into the lion stun. Malady trying to come back in here with the Mortimer's kisses. The trample arriving, that onslaught, a lot of damage onto the tiny. And they're blowing up the Yatharos Sven. Look at that damage is coming straight through from Shigetsu. Great torrent as well, placed on the Vens to follow through with the Primal Beast arriving on the killing spree. Now they can transfer this with a catapult wave onto the tier one mid. They brought numbers better. Can't get stats, collapse. RP. No. Into the Madra missile. She gets to absolutely dead. Miposhka. <laughs> Damn the the biggest question mark is around this lion. Position position four lion, right? Bottom of the net worth. Well, hang on a second, Nefret. He's gone very deep here. Trying to snipe out Mira by the tier two, but Miposhka and Lyle both gonna arrive, but he misses out on his combo, doesn't land it properly. Now a torrent to try and protect. The avalanche comes, Nefrit's still surviving, gets to the high ground with the boat buff on him. He's incredibly tanky, Lyle is hasted, but X marked up. Dragged back away from the beast, another onslaught, but that's us forward. Everyone's jumping around everywhere. Zayats finally dies, Nefrit's found by collapse. Two-sided fight there as Na'Vi looked like they got away with murder, but not to be. Lol collapse, the gap closing they've got. The holy hand grenade of Magnus sent forward to do what he can. This is just 50 instructions. Not a combo, not a Yeah, we got another catch. Melody being dragged back. Finish him off. Well, that's the thing. You were talking about this combo tossing people into fountain, but the chase potential is insane. He also has stolen cookies. Shigetsu and Melo already here. Primal Beast TPing in forward. Lal down to half HP. Collapse. And Zayat having a fight on the northern side. Lal does survive. Oh, no, he doesn't. Power shot will finish him off, it looks like. Face down by the Wind Ranger. It's collapse. RPs the Primal Beast on top of the high ground, but dragged into the torrent by this Kunkka. Good defense of the mid lane there. Na'Vi pick off a support bot, move into mid, get some kills. And tier one still standing. Radiance. Light about the I found a Sven now, yeah. I've got tons of stuns. There's no running from this. Look at that, even the water part from Kunketon. Thank damn sure the Sven dies. I mean, he, he's a Yeti, right? Now, now he's turned kind of yellow. They, they, they don't, uh, oh god, they're jumping onto Lyle straight away. Trying to blast him where the Morty's kiss is. Lyle to high ground, half HP, but she gets used here with the help of Nefret to stun him up. Disable the tiny so he can't move anymore. Oh, collapse. With the help of that stolen earth spike, does get a good jump and grab on Nefrit, but that's a tanky primal beast. RP required. Na'Vi with a backup plan now. Torrent going to be cancelled out by the BKB of Yatoro. Boat not connecting, and the Sven bails away. Well, they, 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 saw, like, they, they know the Ruby's there. They don't care. They're going straight for Yatoro. This is really nice. Ignore Mira. Go for the Sven. Take him down. I mean, that, that is disciplined, right? You see the Rubik show, that's an easy kill. But instead, they know. Sven is there, underwater, go for him. The rest of Na'Vi right behind in tow. Do they make the jump, Team Spirit? They have perfect vision of this. They see them all coming. Don't get X mark to clear the wave mid. The rest of Na'Vi have moved off to smoke behind, but they've got the jump on the Kunker to take him down. 
Team Spirit with a swift removal. And now into mid to continue. They've got this tiny arcane rune still to be used. Pops it now, toss the Snapfire and Sven with the God Strength. Wanted to get a little bit more out of the fight. The RAF, the, the Courier Air Force coming in with Dagon zapping people. Anyway, smoke up from Team Spirit. Vengeful has a long move down to this bottom lane. Collapse going to start off even without her. Nesbitt wants it in, but I'm not sure he's too comfortable with how this is going. Going for the Pulverize on the Magnus now, but Yatro Sven straight back in with the God Strength up. Shackle shot there, connecting on Lol and Yatro. BKB's out from the Sven for now. Nesbitt is still going into the back lines as they lose Niponchka. Primal Beast might be in danger though, but Team Spirit are retreating. Not wanting to continue this fight is leaving Mira stranded on the right hand side. Looks like Na'Vi potentially have control of this pit now. Primal Beast looking worse for wear, and another catch. They just keep extending these fights. Trade, one for one, back and forth. Lol back in onto Kunker now. The Ogre Seal Totem gets him out of danger. TPing home, and he stuns to catch him inside the pit. Mirror's not there quite in time. Tried the courier scouting maneuver with the Venge Courier. Couldn't quite get it. So no one controls Roshan. Yatro thinks about it and is like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, it's okay. I've, I've got creeps to hit. Sure, <laughs> Primal Beast have it. It is just Dota perfection. And Lol is even potentially able to jump and blink and toss someone back if need be. But look at that. You said it, right? This tanky guy. How many spells do they use now? Five, six, seven. Torrent the Sword of Storm as well. Swap. Yeah, Swap is still. And Apostia finally uses it. Let's see if the Venge will die. A casualty of war finally dropping there as Gnarly snipe out the Ventral Spirit, but the illusion is up. Another swap, Lol jumps in, Torrent thrown, and Nefrit moves forward, but yours into the sky. Lol BKB'd up, and now with the Tornhoss, dragging back the Primal Beast. Yathro can open up with the physical damage. Didn't BKB, Zyas with a stun at Earth by causing problems. They've got the chain to save off the Yathro, and they kill off the Sven. Collapse now in trouble, cookie away the Primal Beast, and kill off the Magnus. Beautiful from Na'Vi. Now yeah, such a beautiful stun from Zyas. He landed on the two of them. Get to in time. This is just for Nami to try to go in. It's not necessarily close the game, but I bet. I bet. Radiant structure. Yeah, do some serious damage here for sure. It's, it's definitely uh, an indication of like how close that fight was. A like, fraction of a second. That stun versus the BKB of Yatoro. If things are slightly different, we could see Navi being steamrolled. But uh, perfect execution. So that's on this line and a follow through from Navi, trusting and believing in him. Getting the job done as Lol will blow up she gets to there. Drags him back into the waiting arms with Posca and Lol. Now the Ven falling, but the illusion's back up, so another magic missile and round of spells to come. Now Fred trying to retreat and we'll see if Lol can make another jump because Melodule's waiting, hiding in the trees. x mark boat comes out. Nefrit, another onslaught forward, aggressively onto this tiny. Lol, very low. The swap is there. The damage block. The shield is up. The shield from the BKB as well, protecting Lol's tiny. Throws the tree towards the Kunker, but can't get any kills. Maybe now with Magnus collapse, moving forward onto Melodule. Does he have ulti? No, there's no RP, so can't stop the TP. No swap, no 5,000. <laughs> Armor. We need we need we need tier five items, right? We need giant's ring. We we need giant's ring on this tiny and primal beast. Let them fight it out. Come on, a good wrap around here. Blink X, Zayat, caught by collapse though. Let's see if Tiny can get brought down. He gets the BKB off in time. Great stun from Zayat again. Two man stun up onto Yatro, but now the turn around with their BKBs. Collapse. RP's the wind ranger. They've got the focus down onto Shigetsu, but the damage will it come fast enough. She gets off to the side. Toss forward. There we go. Yatro sent into the midst of it all. And Team Spirit, they've claimed three. Look for the fourth as Malady gets down to the low ground, but not going to survive for much longer. They push you there. With Lal to stun and take her down. Roshan about to spawn and Team Spirit with a decisive victory on their terms. 500. Oh. Two man torrent boat. Melodor from the high ground. Now with a refresher. Torrent storm as well. Great catch on collapse. Now the kill on Meposhka. Man, Team Spirit down on the low ground, getting pummeled from up on high. Yatro will jump in, but a big swipe of his sword kills off one. Shigetsu buys back immediately. As Lal, still going pretty wild in the back lines, might be thinking about retreating now with his BKB up. Yatro getting caught again with a torrent out. Nefrit coming back in with a Primal Beast. Look, look at Mira on this right hand side. Can we get a save on the Sven or anything at all? Yatro is still up and running technically, but disabled continually. Dead for a hundred. Mira jumped away from there and bailed out. Yeah, there's no shard on Mira. I thought we could maybe get some saves going, but not possible. 
Yeah. Oh, Zayat. What's he up to? That's a Captain Yatoro. The Blink Hex. Yeah, he's been swapped out. Yeah, Yatoro's out of there. Now the trees. Oh, they're coming down heavy onto Na'Vi. Nefrit moving forward with the cover of the kisses. Mortimer trying to lay down some covering fire as they approach the Rubik, but I'll be happy with that. A Maposhka kill, a buyback out of Zayats. And in the end, a straight one for one, support for support. Marl is extremely dangerous. Oh, maybe now. A lot of saves coming in onto this Magnus. Ah, he's gonna skewer. <laughs> <laughs> what is that skewer during this forest? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> X mark, skewer, drag across, they've got the snap fire. Primal Beast tried to onslaught in. Got to be careful now, there's no snap for 90 seconds. Magnus being held back by the Gleipnir route. Nefrit dragged in again. Torrent to try and give him some cover. I don't know whose X mark that is. I'm going to guess it's the Rubik's one to move him around. <laughs> you can also break enemies X mark with your own X mark. Oh, he just tosses him up in the air. Now he's a little bit stuck here, Tiny, getting chain disabled. All the tidal wave back behind the barracks. Now where's Team Spirit to save him? Lol, in some serious danger. Yule stepped it up, tosses Lies. across the conquer. He's flying still around. Alive. The tiny, he's still alive. No, he's not allowed to get out of here, surely. Finally dies. Mira's also gone to the grave. Yatoro has BKB ready, but blinks before he needs to use it. Magnus left stranded now as Team Spirit. They're uh, being pulled apart by Na'Vi. Aegis used up. Magnus with his second life. Probably going to get clipped by a torrent or something, but he gets off the BKB RP. Tidal Wave on the bend drags her away. Another round of spells, and in comes the Sven. That damage the RP again. She gets who's gone. And look at this. Primal Beast getting clapped and hammered down by the Sven. Yatoro picks up a double kill as the Kunker gives chase. Another BKB from Magnus to keep him safe. X-Mark. Oh, he gets dragged back into the waiting Zayas and Maddy to blow him up. Lincoln for Tiny now as well. Oh, Yatoro. He's, he's done with this game. He's, he's forced the clef. He's, he's got another BKB. Used his refresher orb to finish up the barracks. X mark. Is that going to last long enough to drag him back? It looks like barely gets the job done. Now Yatoro in a spot of bother, hey? Stormhammer's on the Zaya. Pops the Eon just there, but Nefrit and Metal Jewel. They've got enough control and damage to bring down the Sven. It looks like they'll take him out, but Mega Creeps will be coming. Like a Wind Ranger or something to see if she gets something better. Collapse. Speaking of, Wind Ranger, skewered and RP. Caught out by the Magnus with Mira nearby. We've got Refresher up as well, but the base inside the throne is dropping. Tiny's there, dropping it low. Control is coming. She gets who dies and buys back. It's Lol looking to finish off the game with a few swift whacks of the tree and they do it. All right, what an execution in the end from Team Spirit. They did manage to win the game while Yatara was dead. I think the biggest carry of this whole game was.